All right, so in this session, we're going to be talking about Binance, a crypto exchange that has been gaining popularity recently. Now, Bittrex is probably the best in terms of pairs and has the largest number of crypto pairs for any exchange out there. But recently, they started accepting customers. And uh, so I had to start searching for an alternative in a professional trading platform. And that's when I came across Binance or Binance, uh, which I believe is a combination of two names, which is probably uh, Bits and Finance. Binance is a crypt Chinese crypto exchange that, in my humble opinion, is probably great for traders. Uh, I've heard a lot about it. I've been using it quite recently. I'm finding it uh, pretty good. Now, it looks very rudimentary at first, but once you dig into the details, you start to see. There are a good number of pairs in uh, Binance. And as you can see, I've start or favorited a couple of them, but they basically trade BDC markets, EDTH, and USDT. Now, USDT is quite uh, a few right now. There's not much right there. Uh, ETH, there is quite a good number of pairs, and I believe that this is the way forward as well. Uh, BTC, again, as you can see, a good number of pairs, probably not as much as uh, Bittrex, but it is very good. And there's another one called BNB, which I'll get to uh, very quickly as well. Now, uh, they own a coin called BNB, which is uh, a pretty good strategy for them. And I'll explain that as well, why uh, that is uh, really important. But uh, first, we'll look at the interface for uh, uh, Binance. Now, there are two options. There's a basic option and there's an advanced option. So the basic option uh, is a very straightforward, very easy to understand uh, screen with a couple of panels. Uh, you have, you know, the, the, the trades that are going on, which is basically the time and sales, uh, the bids and the asks. Uh, the price, uh, the market price, you have a nice chart, you have one hour, uh, one minute, one day, uh, you know, a full screen options and you have all the currencies available on the right side and all that. And a very simple interface for uh, the orders and the transactions to be placed in. Now, what is more interesting for me is the advanced uh, section and that's basically why i'm very impressed by this you can add a whole lot of stuff into this you can add indicators you can uh, you know the basic stuff like stocks uh, or uh, you know stochastics uh, moving averages as many as you want i have mine here right now and uh, you can quickly select them in this option as well here uh, for the currencies that you really have or favorited as well I like this platform. It's just an amazing platform. It's really uh, easy to use. Uh, one thing I like about it, uh, more importantly, is the quotes feature. Now, for example, this is an XRP BTC uh, quote that is going on right now. But it, as you can see in yellow here, it's in US dollars. So this is XRP in US dollars. I don't need to do any conversions. And for me, that's very good because a lot of the times uh, when you talk to traders, some of them talk in US dollar terms. Oh, XRP is uh, 1.5. It's moved to 2.3. But I, I focus mostly on the BTC side. So I want to know in BTC, then I have to sit and convert everything. These guys have done the conversion right here. And that to me is an amazing thing. I don't know why uh, exchanges don't do this. They should do this more often. Now, uh, more importantly than this and the exchange uh, is actually the scaling. Now, I'm going to uh, explain that quickly here. It, when you want to buy something, you don't go and buy 100%. And I don't recommend that as well, unless you're very sure about the direction of the trade. But you can scale into an option and say, okay, look here. Uh, I have some XRP here. I want to scale out. So I'm going to put 25 and immediately, you know, from my 174 total, it calculates 43 and then puts that there. If I want 50% out, I want 75% or 100% out. Those are clicks for me. It's very, very simple. You can download my small booklet and scaling to positions. I'm giving away uh, that for free right now. And with this, this is more important for cryptos uh, specifically. And this is basically what professional traders do. They scale into positions uh, as they uh, watch them as well. So uh, the other thing that I really like about this is it's fast. It's very quick. I want to buy something. I want to sell something. Just click a couple of buttons and just click sell. And that's it, you know, and it's immediate almost. Uh, market orders, pretty simple as well. Uh, they get, uh, uh, you know, a transacted at the the else, so that's pretty good the stop limit is even more interesting and i'll explain that as well uh if let's say you have a uh, 174 xrp right now i want to scale out of uh, 87 of them so i'm going to do is i'm going to say at 153 59 okay and i'm just going to keep the limit just below that let's say 35 right now when i click sell it confirms this to me if the last price rises to or above 150 I339 BTC, an order to sell 87 XRP at a price of 100, very, very clear. That's really what I like. 
and uh, it's so easy to use. Now, that's why I recommend uh, this for people who are trading or beginning to trade as well. You'll get more familiar with this. The problem right now that we have is that many of the trading platforms that are out there have not really been developed with traders in mind. They are just simple web-based, you know, 1.0 or 2.0 or web-based uh, platforms. They're not really trading platforms like you have with TD Ameritrade or Thinkorswim or Tastyworks or all these professional platforms out there or Ninja Trader and all that. And that's what I want to see uh, happening in the future. So these guys are, you know, I think working towards that. They're trying to move towards that. They they have a lot of features as well. They even have a desktop and a phone app. Now the, the desktop app is only for Windows. So if you're a Mac user, very sorry about that. Uh, the phone app, I wouldn't recommend it, especially if you're on the iPhone, uh, primarily because it wasn't coming through the App Store. So I don't know about that. I don't recommend it. But, you know, hey, you can you can have it there if you want to trade on the go, which is, you know, uh, it's a 24 hour market. Uh, you might want to be uh, trading from wherever you are. That's the best thing to have. Now, there are other features, of course, in the uh, desktop version, which is the uh, multi chart version. So you can have a look at different charts and, uh, you know, across different time frames. And I really like that. But the biggest, biggest, biggest thing I think that uh, causes me to think about Binance is basically uh, the fees. Now, when I say the fees, the fees is basically really, really cheap compared to uh, what you have with uh, Bittrex. Now, Bittrex, the fees is 0.25 uh, percent, whereas in uh, Binance, it is 0.1 percent. So that's 50 percent cheaper. And if you use their token BNB, you get another 50 percent off for this year. So that's more than 70 to 80 percent in savings. And it adds up eventually right so uh, right now i'm paying uh, 0.0105 percent uh, i'm paying less than the normal fees and that's amazing i really love this and that's that's if you're a regular trader and you're going to be trading cryptocurrencies you got to keep an eye on the fees and they do add up now uh, another great feature that i noticed uh, that these guys have is uh, basically if you are into neo which is neo coin uh, you can store your neo on this exchange and they will give you gas so they say Binance has distributed December gas for NEO. So this is a nice feature uh, that is, I don't recommend keeping uh, large amounts on the exchange as always. I highly recommend that you keep them in your wallet. But hey, you know, if you want to gain uh, a bit of extra miles there uh, and you want your gas for the NEO that is being stored, rather than have it on Bittrex or any other platform, you might as well keep it here or even rather than on any other wallet. So you just focus on one area. Now, another quick tip uh, before you leave. Uh, when you transfer between exchanges, now many people have asked me this question, when you transfer between any exchange, use ETH or LTC. The reason is it's faster than BTC. And the average transaction cost is actually cheaper as well. So there's a tip for you and I hope you join uh, Binance. Uh, I've given a link as well. Uh, please click on that. It's a referral link. If not, just go to Binance.com and uh, sign up. But I think this could be a very, very interesting platform. Uh, right now, uh, you know, the sign up process is very easy. There's uh, for, you know, you don't really have much of a verification, but please do put in your two factor authentication. If you want to verify yourself, you can take more, uh, you know, take out more than 100 BDC uh, from the exchange. But for the time being, without any verification once it's a 2 BDC limit. Highly recommend once again sign up for Binance. It's pretty good and you'll love it.